to a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the first game of the second set from the matches on August 28th. I'm realizing I forgot to give the shout outs here. Striker 17 sc on Twitch TV. Uh, Machine USA on Twitch TV as well. Raz is Raz BW. He's starting in the, I think this is on Ascension. I should have checked the map once again before diving into this one. It looks like, yes, it is Ascension. This is going to be between Machine and Raz. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Raz starting as the white Protoss. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Machine starting as the orange Zerg. That's Eagle Burger and Red Raz equivalently. I think they're both on Team Red. Check out STPPL, by the way, during the if you have breaks during weekday. Oftentimes when I'm taking a break at work for like 15 minutes or taking a lunch break, that's the channel I'm hopping to. Tell you what, it's hard to work these days just because it's like the world going crazy. Just all Anyway, that's... Not relevant to this cast. Pylon dropping on that natural expansion. We've seen these guys play in a lot of matches before, and I feel like in particular, they, whatever reason, typically, they create really fun matches. I've been able to watch them. I've, every once in a while, I've been able to watch them on their stream or kind of in just pickup matches during their Rogues Gallery match. I feel like that was an intense match. I think these guys have practiced a lot against one another, and so it just I think what ends up happening is you end up with a little bit more mind gamey action and more interesting stuff happening overall. We are seeing a gateway opening currently from Raz. I would say overall, ooh, double gateway opener from Raz. So Raz wants to go ahead and open the two gate. Fortunately for Machine, Machine should be able to spot this fairly, fairly rapidly. He will see if he's going to open. He actually has opened pool first. Although I think this was, looks like it was an over pool build. As long as he produces Zerglings, he should be okay in defending this. This isn't the exact optimal build. Oftentimes, Nine Pool will just completely shut this down, and it's almost an auto win sometimes, this probe wandering through. What I do like about a two-gate opener on this map in particular is... is he, oh, he's going to be able to get the disruption on that natural expansion as well, is because of the gap here, it's a little bit of a larger gap, now seeing the two-gate. Because it's a larger gap at the corner if you do open two gate it's not irreconcilable where you're going to end up just dying six zerglings being produced because you can kind of plug this gap with your zealots and try to basically create some defense from there so machine holding right here first two zealots being produced it looks like there is a pylon going ahead and being plopped back towards the main but the downside of this for raz is yes he got a little bit of disruption on that hatchery but as long as machine doesn't overcommit zerglings in his defense Actually, I'm wondering if the... Because this is a positional thing. Because I think what Machine needs to do is he needs to make sure that when he's engaging these Zealots, he's engaging them somewhere out here. And he's not engaging them in this little gap where the Zealots can get... the Because a Zealot versus a single Zergling, they can kill just a bunch more Zerglings than if they're getting surrounded effectively. So if... Ooh, trying to sneak by, actually. He's hoping to get a run by with one Zergling. Raz doing a good, good job of intercepting them. And so one Zergling down, which will be advantage and actually going to force another pair of zerglings to be produced another zergling down so that's two zerglings did the probe get the kill there no it's one zealot with the two kills now he's a bar uh, battle hardened veteran machine was hoping to sneak some zerglings by it looked like to go ahead and do some additional interruption a third zealot moving out and a fourth so this is going to be a pretty sizable uh, a pretty sizable attack force one advantage for a machine is he does have that overlord overhead so he can go ahead and get vision on the zealots as they're coming out and be able to produce units in direct correspondence effectively his natural expansion just coming online so he's going to have plenty of larva the probe actually getting a little bit of free damage and machine backing up back across his natural expansion i don't like him giving up this section to be honest because yeah and it looks like raz is going to do exactly what i was uh, thinking he's going to hold up here that's forcing even a creep colony actually on the front for machine machine feeling very uncomfortable you can see raz just kind of hugging this wall waiting for more zealots to group up and he wants to have enough zealots that he can kind of break any sort of concavity that uh, machine can levy machine running around getting a nice around engaging another zealot coming in from the left but not a lot of shield actually not even getting past the shield the probe was taken out the sunk colony is up. The zealot's starting to move in. They're going to go ahead and try to walk by that sunk colony, get in the main one zealot down. Now, the rest of those zealots pinned into in between that natural expansion. And it looks like the zerglings are going to be able to wipe out most of the rest of these zealots. Three zealots still standing. And it looks like it's going to be three zealots versus five zerglings. Two left. More zerglings are going to have to be produced. And this is really keeping Machine's economy extremely light. You can see he's just been sitting at seven drones this entire time so we're gonna wipe out a zealot right there and between everything 
Raz has managed, even though he doesn't have his natural expansion, he's actually up to 17 probes, has actually a sizable economically, getting a forge right now. Needs to get a cannon down because the Zerglings are incoming and needs to defend that front door, but Machine needs to get his economy rolling ASAP because he dedicated a lot of larva to, to Zerglings and Raz with that slow play. Ooh, actually able to sneak the Zerglings by, get on top of that probe. That's going to do additional disruption away from that natural expansion. And more Zerglings flooding through. This isn't, keep in mind, these are gateways. So that's not a tight seal. That cannon is going to be able to warp in. But now Machine might be able to get some additional economic damage done to go ahead and even the odds. So that's two probes down. I think these are speed upgraded. So you might want to just dance them around and provide that a nice defense by Raz, actually, overall. Able to take out a lot of Zerglings. But now he's down to 13 probes, so Machine immediately able to counterattack and get his own economic damage done. So the game's kind of resetting here. And now I'm going to say that Machine has reset... Be between the delayed natural expansion, between uh, him going ahead and grabbing his third base, and this is what I mean by interesting matches, and actually continuing to poke away at this, the Zelts finally going in and getting that last Zergling out of the main. Four Zealots remain. But Raz, down to, down to 14 probes... Finally getting a cybernetics core, grabbing that assimilator. Lucky for him, Machine did not push straight to Lair Tech to go ahead and get Mutalisks out in the air. More Zerglings are flooding this direction, but I think Raz is going to have plenty. Yeah, he's got plenty of Zelts to plug. He's also got a cannon right there. So feels like this might be a bit of a waste. I'm not sure if Machine realizes the economic positioning between both players. He's moving in that Overlord to go ahead and scope things out to see if he can go ahead and do a run by. But I think he's going to back off with this. That probe's still managing to sneak out. And here's the thing. If you're going to have this many Zerlings, the least you can do is go ahead and deny that scout. And unfortunately, that probe able to just snake through that northern exit. And so it's going to be able to go ahead and find that third base. And that should give Raz a solid amount of information. To actually, he might even skip. I'm not sure that he is going to skip Stargate because he doesn't have a good look at the main to go ahead and see whether there's a lair there or not. But I, I assume seeing this third expansion, he's going to feel uh, fairly confident about what he's going up against. Also, Machine supply blocking himself right here. So mistakes back and forth. Perhaps both players playing a little bit flustered. There's the Stargate. So the game kind of resetting, but it's kind of resetting in a situation where it's like, what exactly do we have here? Fourth hatchery being plopped down. And I'm expecting a fifth, because honestly, this is turning into what should be a five hatch uh, situation. The Zealots moving out, and with those Zealots moving out, the Zerglings popping straight through, going to go ahead and take that cannon down, pressing into that natural expansion once again. And the Zerglings once again flooding into the main. The Zealots, rather than going and trying to go for a counterattack, they're going to have to deal with these Zerglings that are just running free here. And that's going to disrupt all economic production at the main. So Machine once again able to stifle Raz's economy. Also doing, a looks like a transfer of some Zerglings. Just to defend that third, just in case. So it's six Zelts trying to chase down still a grouping of Zerglings in the main. That first Corsair is being produced, but Raz's economy has been very, very negated. So all of the early gains he got with that Zealot pressure, where he was able to force all sorts of Zerglings. Also, it looks like Machine's going to be able to see that Weapon one's being weapon 1 being built. Not seeing a Hydralist Den just yet. He is grabbing that fifth hatchery, so it's basically five hatchery Ling. As far And I don't think this is just going to be a straight Ling flood. But I'm, yeah, I'm waiting for that. And actually, yeah, so there's the Zealots. <laughs> More Zerglings flooding through, able to take down another cannon. And Machine just, yeah, doing constant distraction. A cannon actually... So this is going to be like a dual cannon to deal with both Zergling runbys and potential just abusing that dual gate opening. Uh, and also potentially prote uh, protect against Mutalists because this Corsair is just making its way up. Here's the thing for Machine, though. He has no anti-air. This Hydralis Den is coming down very, very late. So this Corsair might be able to supply cap him. He's at least going to be able to get an Overlord. Might be able to get two. Turning into a very scrappy game all the way around. This is three hatcheries at that 3 o'clock location. So this is going to be a total of five Evolution Chamber on the front as well. So maybe the upgrade advantage can be played. But that's going to be... Oops, sorry. That's going to be uh, one Overlord down, potentially two. If it can find it. The Hydralis Den is there, but it's going to be a minute before that Overlord spawns. And he still might be able to get another Overlord kill on top of this. So Raz, not out of this yet, is able to get some economic disruption down. Finally, the Hydralisks out. So now we're shifting back to 5-hatch Hydralisk. However, the big economic lead in Machine's favor. He's got three bases up, 31 
probe saturating everything. And he's actually in a situation where if he wants to go ahead and go for a hydralisk contain, he's in a good position to go ahead and do so. Especially with these two gates, very vulnerable in the front door, only three cannons right there. So I'm wondering if he's going to go for, I don't know, some sort of adjusted 973. And because of Raz's economy, he's going to have a little bit of a delay getting the Psy Storms to go ahead and delete, uh, deal with this. He's getting level 1 weapons. Does have the Citadel of Adun, grabbing three additional gateways. Maybe he'll have some Zelts to go ahead and cope with this. The Corsair moving out to the north, and we are seeing some Zerglings rejoining this uh, force. But Machine kind of splitting both directions. Usually with 5-hatch Hydralis play, you're playing a little bit more defensively. You're grouping around your Overlords. You're looking for uh, to defend against High Templar incoming. But Machine's in enough of an economic position if he wanted to. He could just start piling those Hydralisks out towards Raz's front and go ahead and greet the Zealots with a rain of missile fire and maybe even some lurkers if he has lurker tech by the time that's pushing around to go ahead and deal with that. Raz able to get another Corsair at that 3 o'clock base. There is a single Hydralisk to go ahead and deal with that. Looks like two Hydralisks to go ahead and group with that. Looks like Machine's going to go ahead and opt to go to play a more defensively. More cannons being plopped down on the front for Raz. So Raz now sitting at four gateways. He does have that Templar Archives. Also getting a robotics facility. I think he's just like, you know what? Let's just drop all our tech down. Um, close to supply capping himself right here. Let's get our High Templar. Let's get our Dark Templar. Let's move into kind of a more standard match. That Corsair is going to wander in. See the layer finishing. Looks like range is just finishing for these Hydralists. And Machine also going ahead with these Zerglings and spreading out, making sure that Raz wasn't able to sneak out of his two base situation. But now Raz has some room to go ahead. I'm wondering if he's going to dedicate these Dark Templar. Now the Hydralist is moving forward to go ahead and potentially seal that contain. Some Hydralist being left at home to deal with that Corsair. Also moving out a drone to go ahead and I think take that 5 o'clock location. So the Hydralisks and Zerglings are going to group up. As far as Zealots, we have nearly a full control group. Some High Templar being built. Some Dark Templar are there. Psystorm is upgrading. We also have a shuttle to go ahead and drop the rest of this over the lines. And the Hydralis is now starting to poke at that front door. I don't know if these two these two gateways are going to last. Machine getting aggressive and actually maybe wanting to take these cannons down. Poking at these Zealots. One cannon down. Is he going to just go for a bust right here? I don't know that this is enough Hydralis to do it. Dark Templar is on the front. There's no Overlord nearby. But Machine still might be able to take these two front gateways down. And now realizing there's the Dark Templar there trying to back off with the rest of his attack force. He does have Phenomenized Carapace upgrading. But Raz able to push back that attack force with the Dark Templar. So he holds for the time being. You do have Templar in the background gathering energy for Storm. And the Dark Templar is able to sneak out to the north. Let's see if it's going to be able to go ahead and get some economic disruption done. I saw a drone sneak out here. It doesn't look like Machine went ahead and grabbed a fifth. Some probes. How did the probes get out there? Maybe misrallied, cycling back. Now he's going to go ahead and take that fourth in the upper right-hand corner. And unfortunately for this Dark Templar, well, it looks like Machine didn't see it. The Dark Templar want... No, it looks like it should be spotted. It doesn't look, look like Machine's king on it just yet. Now trying to hunt that... Dark Templar down. It's kind of playing a game of hide-and-go-seek. Very high stakes with a ninja who's got a gigantic sword and is, I guess, an e a essence of chaos. Something along those lines. Creep Colony being built in the main. Here's the thing. With that shuttle drop and the Psy Storm and even a Dark Templar getting into the main, this could be very, very disruptive. It looks like it's going to be a Zealot and two he High Templar. I'm wondering if this Dark Templar is going to get scooped up in the midst of this as well. It's got a lot of territory to cover. Machine expecting this, though. He's already got an Overlord in position and a couple of Hydralisks sneaking by. He's got a Spire up as well. Zealot's going ahead and clearing that Lurker Egg to the front to go ahead and open up things. But Machine's gone for a bit of a tech switch. He's gotten those Hydralisks out, or sorry, those Mutalisks out that might be able to pick this shuttle off. The shuttle does have Dark Templar, but it's going to be very slow moving to get into this upper right-hand corner. This isn't saturated just yet. And this is unfortunate for Raz because I feel like at another location, had he revealed the shuttle, he would have gotten a lot accomplished. But with what's standing, now that shuttle's been spotted and the Mutalists are going to be able to dive right on top of it. Some Overlords making their way into that upper right-hand corner. It looks like the Mutalists actually, they're just going to ignore the shuttle. It was spotted, right? He's just going to go for a, an attack on the natural expansion. And that's going to allow these... The High Templar to get dropped. Great size storm killing all sorts. The eight kills immediately. 
This was a huge mistake on Machine's part. A Zealot being dropped, another High Templar being dropped, and this is just economic brutality. So only lose, fortunately for, for him, only loses a single drone right there. But this Dark Templar in the main, a little bit out of position by while that's happening. Mutalisk scooting in, trying to pick off High Templar behind those lines, expending some Psy Storm. The Hydralisk is trying to go ahead and break the front door. Looks like that Dark Templar was cleaned up behind this, but all sorts of Psy Storm all over those Hydralisks, and that just obliterated that attack force. So even though, there's a even though there's a cannon down and a gateway down, it looks like Raz is going to be able to hold his front once again at 100 supply where he wants to be. Level 1 weapons, I think that's going to be ahead of Machine. Never mind, Machine actually has level 1 weapons as well. Trying to sneak, Raz trying to find a third base and sneak it in the upper left-hand corner, but Machine shutting that down rapidly. But with that economic loss, well, actually, I'm looking at the overall drone count. Machine actually still sitting at 53 drones. So in a very strong situation, Raz has 8 gateways in this back corner, still has that shuttle active. Looks like it was able to get back to the main. So he's going to need a sizable, maybe if he goes for a big attack, Sneaks out, grabs his third with a drop. Might be able to sneak back in this match. If he lets this continue, though, Machine is up a base. He is keeping pace, it looks like, with the upgrades. Carapace and level 2 spines coming online. And with that upgrade advantage, looks like level 1 armor, by the way, just finishing for Raz. So currently he has that upgrade advantage. A lot of Dragoons in this grouping to deal with potential Lurkers. No Lurkers being... Fielded, though. It looks like it's just going to be a Queen's Nest and straight to Hive from there from Machine. Machine actually wandering down. Never mind. He already had a couple Lurkers out in the field. Six o'clock base is being grabbed from Raz. I don't think Machine needs to press this, though. He's got enough of an economic lead where he, as long as he keeps this attack force back and in a defensive position, he can continue to just rely on those upgrades, keep the double evol evolution chamber, chamber going, keep pace with upgrades, and just use that superior late game uh, tech to take out Raz's army. Raz pushing some of these lurkers back. Has everything he wants. He's going he's got those high templar actually doing a very good job of keeping them scooped up and protected. Hive tech just starting not too long ago. So now it's kind of resetting to a little bit more of a defensive stance minus these drops a couple uh, Bunch of Zealots running in, trying to get some economic harassment done. Might be able to get a drone or two, but otherwise not getting a lot accomplished. That shuttle's been taken out, but there's also an attack simultaneously occurring in the middle of the map. Great Psy Storm on top of both Lurkers and Hydralisks right there. As Machine potentially distracted at that drop. Another great Psy Storm. And a third great Psy Storm over those Hydralisks. In the middle, the Lurker's repositioning, but they are very much bunched up. There might be another side storm waiting for them, but it looks like Raz able to wipe everything out with some with a nice engage, catching Machine off guard in the middle of this map, and he is now running free with a sizable army. A couple did his... It looks like the Observer got picked off, though. Missed that. The Observer got picked off. So Machine doing a good job of salvaging this by picking... by uh, more or less eliminating Vision... So those Lurkers reigning supreme, but unfortunately those Lurkers are going to have to unburrow and reburrow if they're going to be effective against this roaming Protoss army. Hydralisks trying to slow this down. It looks like they're going to go ahead and end around, go for a counterattack at the 6 o'clock base. While Raz counterattacks and goes for an attack in this upper right-hand corner. Looks like there are Hydralisks to go ahead and greet that. The Lurkers chewing through the... Well, they're not... Focusing the cannon down. They're working on those Dragoons. And it looks like those Dragoons are going to be able to range this. That cannon's still getting punched at. That wasn't a saturated base. Some Zerglings now chasing down those Dragoons. Also able to get the High Templar right there. Cannon unpowered. There's finally an Observer walking up to go ahead and save this base. But Raz needs to saturate this and get this running. His, natural, his main is nearly mined out. His natural expansion... Should last a little while longer, but this, yeah, he needs to get this mining because he's effectively mining at one base, and as a result, he's starting to fall behind in the overall supply count. Zerglings trying to group up, get on top of those Dragoons. The Dragoons turning around and using the high ground advantage in the Zealots regrouping. Machine also taking a 12th base, or sorry, a 12th base, a base at the 12 o'clock location that will put him at uh, five mining bases. And Raz getting, this is very aggressive considering the supply count he has. He's going to go ahead and grab that 5 o'clock base. And I think he's just trying to sneak this while Machine isn't paying attention. That will be his third. Well, it'll be 
He'll be his fourth base, his third mining base. He's going to go ahead and grab that five o'clock. Machine macroing up. He's gotten hive tech. He's kind of got a little bit of a, a delay reprieve. He's grabbing a third evolution chamber. Defiler mound, upgrading consume. And that is a big shift in momentum. Level two weapons, level one carapace versus level two armor, level one weapons. The Zerglings look like they're going to sneak through and they are going to find this six o'clock base. However, with two cannons, that should be sufficient. Even with adrenal upgrades, I believe, well, maybe not. I take it back. Man, adrenal upgrades, so strong. Look at that. You see how quickly they just shoot through those two cannons? Zealots moving up. Nexus plummeting in health. The army completely moving to deal with those few Zerglings, and that's allowing Machine to go ahead and run up this ramp and get some positioning. Spreading out immediately to try to avoid storm bait, but getting a lot of that army. Oof, those storms were brutal. Bunching up way too much and eating in a massive amount of size storm. Allowing Raz to go ahead and turn around and push the rest of this army back. So he's going to be able to establish an additional two bases. Machine has a huge bank that he needs to spend behind this. He's got all sorts of economy, but he needs to get that economy rolling. Wondering if he's going to shift to an... I think he's got the economy to go for an Ultralisk Cavern right here. Some Zerglings pouring into the 6 o'clock base. That is not going to get penetrated because Raz has all sorts of Zealots and Dragoons and an Archon waiting for him there. So Raz is doing a fantastic job of shelling up. He's actually even in supply. As far as his economic output, he might be a little bit behind, but he's going to go ahead and try to grab this mineral only as well. And he's managing to do this, honestly, with some beautiful Psy Storms. Catching right back into this. Looks like Ventral Sacks also being uh, being upgraded. So Machine may be thinking about doing a drop somewhere in the midst of this to go ahead and crack Raz's front. Some Lurkers, again, out of position with this burrow. Dropping the burrow now. Looking for the Psy Storms. The Psy Storms going to be critical. Another great Psy Storm over the Hydralisks. And more bunched up Lurkers getting Psy Stormed in that right corner as well. The Observer... Also being protected fairly well. So Machine losing this attack force. Even though it was an attack, I think this is technically high ground. Zerglings trying to sneak in behind this, but they're getting size stormed and cleaned up fairly rapidly. The Lurkers now pressing forward. And there's not enough Zealots nor Archons to defend against the Zergling follow-up. And the Lurkers also able to push into position. So Machine with an overwhelming follow-up army. And it looks like better composition going ahead and pushing Raz back to that high ground that's going to expose this inside 9 o'clock base. I don't know that Machine's aware that that's going up, so we'll see if he is able to cycle around and take care of that. Raz getting a little bit over-aggressive trying to defend. I'm not sure if that was just units out of control or if that was just misrallied units. A counterattack moving in now that the army's been expended to the 6 o'clock location. Sidestorm cleaning up some of those initial Zerglings. That army trying to reposition to defend that. The Hydralisks... Moving across that corner, the Psystorms look like they are going to be able to go ahead and clean that counterattack up. And it's unfortunate for a machine because if he had attacked that inside 9, he probably could have taken it out. But by attacking the 6 o'clock base, Raz able to defend it. Robotic facility up with Reavers, so, so it looks like Raz is setting up for the long haul. He knows this is going to turn into a longer starvation match. And Machine going ahead and grabbing some additional Lurkers. It looks like he wants to go ahead and try to box. I don't know that he realizes this base is existent, but he wants to try to box Raz into the southern portion of this map while he takes everything else and hits the 200-200 mark. He's 20 supply ahead. He's getting a greater Spire. So we might see some shenanigans with that down the line. Keep in mind, he also has a drop. He's going to go ahead and grab that one well, 11 o'clock base as well. But Raz establishing... That inside 9 o'clock, kind of underneath his nose. I don't even know if he realizes that's up at this stage. He has camped the upper 9. But Raz's still in. This is economy. Not looking fantastic comparatively, though. So his mains mined out. His natural expansion still there, uh, but thin. So he's basically at four bases. And that's four bases versus, I think this is five. Machines mined out at his main. His natural expansion still up. That 3 o'clock base actually looked rather thin, interestingly enough. So this actually might be 3 base versus uh, 4 base Protoss. Or uh, 3 base versus 3 base, which in theory, uh, in theory, theory, if enough workers get saturated here, that will give the long-term economic advantage to Raz. However, how long will that economic advantage last? Because we have some Guardians cocooning in theory. Uh, 
to that bottom right and corner. Some overlords moving in, getting wiped out of plague on those dragoons to soften them up. Now this is a reaver. There are three high templar here, so the the guardians, if they're going to get something accomplished, you're going to have to dodge some size storm to make it happen. Machine also grabbing some additional bases is approaching. Actually, both players about even on supply. So the guardians moving up need to spread out because here comes the size storm and also a counterattack moving up to the inside three. There is a reaver right there, and it looks like. A bunch of Archons. Dark Swarm being dropped, but the Archons are there. And Reaver Scarabs as well. Looks like some Scythe Storm is able to clear out some of the Guardians, but not all of them. They're starting to get probe kills in that bottom right-hand corner. And the three getting pummeled and breached, but it but looks like there's enough splash damage, enough units that can fight under Swarm in Zealots and Archons to go ahead and clean the rest of this attack force up. And Machine getting the raw end of that deal, it looks like, overall... Down 20 supply. Lost the guard. It looks like finally some additional size storm cleaning up the rest of the guardians in that bottom right hand corner. He does have this base up, but it's not quite mining yet. And Raz is held overall, reproducing Reavers at each location. And all of a sudden, Raz with a significant supply lead. Level 2 weapons, level 2 armor. His forges are silent. He needs to keep those forges running to make sure he maintains that advantage. Machine, level 3 weapons. He's going to have level 3 carapace. It looks like level 1 melee coming on long shortly. The unit's starting to stream across that map. There's one storm and a reaver. Looks like that might be it. A good plague across some of these back forces. So initial attack there. It looks like some units were moving to the 9 o'clock base. But they're repositioning now to go ahead and try to engage this 5 o'clock. More units streaming across this direction. Raz now moving the Archons to go ahead and try to defend this. With this territory that he needs to cover, basically he just needs to make sure that he doesn't over-dedicate any troops to one location and can just deal with machines as long as he holds. And wow, look at these storms. Getting favorable exchanges overall as well. That's a bunch of Archons that have been produced. And Raz all of a sudden... So it looks like he was trying to sneak that upper nine. Gonna, that's going to get wiped out rapidly. But Raz approaching the 200 supply mark. And Machine is about 80 supply off of that. And hasn't really been able to breach any of those locations. A couple of idle probes here. A scout being produced. I love it. A Scourge running into it momentarily, but just to, just to ward off any additional Guardians. Clever play right there. More Lurkers being produced. A couple of Nidus Canals being plopped down. Machine not yet able to go ahead and grab that nine. But now that Raz is near max supply, he's going to go ahead and start marauding. And he's going to go, looks like, in a clockwise methodology. And just start wiping things off the map. Machine running for, sprinting forward. Actually, some battle drones. Go get them, drones. Trying to engage The Archon's leading and kind of stutter-stepping as those lurkers are plopping down. Grouping up on that high ground. This is not long for life. There is a Nidus Canal right there. But I think what Machine would need is an overwhelming amount of Ultras. Some Swarm, some Plagues, something else to deal with this. But this, honestly, I think this is just too many Archons to deal with. Late game Archons in these sizable numbers? I don't know. Maybe with some some Hydralisks. But great size storms from Raz in the meantime. Also not size storming his own observers. Kind of critically important to do that. Lurker is getting wiped out fairly rapidly. Those Archons just melting them. Like a candle. Raz backing off. Some Zerglings trying to re-engage from the left. Raz continuing to hold the supply lead. Another great size storm. A Mutalisk. I'm not sure what it thought it was doing there. It dies nearly immediately. A drop now from Machine getting on top of the main. Mostly Zerglings. There isn't a Reaver right there and some Zealots. So that actually was repelled fairly easily. More reinforcements trying to group up. I think Machine's just trying to distract Raz. But is in the production of all his units, his bank starting to empty a little bit. He's still 40 supply down. A bit of a whiff of a size storm right there. And one Observer... A casualty in that army. The Hydra is trying to micro away and basically just trying to distract him so he can get some defenses down. This upper left hand base. Raz going to go ahead and grab that 9 o'clock location while all of that's happening. But as things stand, Raz still getting max supply up. He's still managing to hold a lo well, looks like he's able to establish an, uh, an additional base. He's at four bases mining. Natural expansion is now expended. However, Machine is down to three. He's got this upper left hand corner. He's got the 11 o'clock and the 12 o'clock base. 
This is the upper right hand base is nearly mined out. There's still the mineral onlys. Well, I guess technically the inside three and mineral only at the, or actually these aren't mineral only. So inside 12, inside three are still available to machine if you can hold this. Ooh, Scourge almost chasing down that shuttle. I don't think those reavers got any drops. So if Raz can hold this off, get the, get some, oh man, imagine a side storm right here. Diving in with a lot of Archons, this upper left-hand corner. Side storm over that lurker to the right and machine gonna counterattack to the six o'clock base. It's gonna wipe it out. And this might turn into a, an elimination race. I think Machine might have the better speed. Some Psystorm Storm slowing this down in the bottom right-hand corner. Lurker's eating a lot right there. This is not a mining base, so I think Raz is okay losing this. This was a mining base for Machine. The Archon wave of flame continues to press forward. But the Lurkers are doing a great job of cleaning that up. Psy Storming, he needs to protect those observers. And now Raz, one contained, but two at risk of just losing everything in his main. More Psy Storms dropping. The Reaver taking fire, but able to hold. The Lurker's going to go ahead and reposition so that 6 o'clock base has been wiped out. That was a mining base, but so it's kind of a one mining base for one mining base trade right there. Machine regrouping. All of a sudden has a supply lead. Regrouping with these Lurkers to midfield. Battle probe. I think this is a probe that was out there scouting for his life. It looks like that upper nine is functional, but no probes there. And honestly, with the probes that were wiped out in the midst of that, he's down to kind of a 40 count. Looks like the Reavers dropped here a lot of duds. So it looks like I think that was mostly Zerglings killed right there. Going to try to reposition a Defiler chasing alongside. 10 kills, never mind, not duds. 15 kills now. So the worker count getting readjusted some more. It looks like... Just a handful of Zerglings redropping. A big army moving across to go ahead and engage this 9 o'clock base. That's going to get wiped out fairly rapidly. I think that shuttle was taken out while I was watching all that. Raz, where is his army? Trying to refill his army. It's still sitting at that inside 9. It looks like he's just going to go ahead and sack the pure 9 o'clock base. And Machine all of a sudden looking scary. He's... Distance mining in the upper left-hand corner. You can go ahead and try, uh, plop. No, it looks like that shuttle's still up. You can go ahead and plop that base back down. He's got Raz essentially back down to two bases. He's mining sort of at three and has a large degree of map control and finding drones. Is he going to get kills? Gets Looks like three drones right there. These Reavers have been absolutely unsung heroes. If the There should be like a Protoss banner with those like, yeah, fight the war. You know, it's like the Reavers want you... To join the robotic army. Raz a little bit out of position in this engagement. Losing a Dragoon as a result. Machine now holding the high ground. Dropping a swarm. Re-engaging with lurkers. There are reavers there though. Though the reavers are slow walking and maybe do not have scarabs. It looks like one of them going to get taken out before we even fired a shot. A great plague. Not really effective against the Archons but... Across the High Templar and the Dragoons and the Zealots, really softening them up. And Machine now establishing one boxing out. Ooh, and I like that Lurker on the high ground going ahead and denying that gas. First of all, taking a high ground positioning to go ahead and harass this base. But secondarily, boxing out a base from Machine from Raz. And potentially giving him an opportunity to, to take this upper 9 o'clock base at leisure. So as far as the starvation battle goes, Raz is ahead in supply right now, but Machine just holds more territory. And it looks like superior positioning. The question is, is will that hold out over the long term? Raz looking a little bit gas starved here. So he's going to have to fill in with Zealots. Machine continuing to regroup and resupply over this inside nine. I think he just wants to shut this base down and try to make this the uh, final battlefield. Three Lurkers on the low ground, in finding a bunch of Zealots and Archons there. They're getting obliterated. Hydra's trying to swing around, pick off some High Templar, pick off something, some Scourge. I think they landed on a shuttle. Maybe they got an Observer. I think they mostly potentially landed on a shuttle. The shuttle, never mind, the shuttle still stands. It's going to sneak out. So I think they just died overhead. The Lurker's still somehow able to sneak across and start pounding that Nexus. So this Nexus... Kind of an, you can't even see anything under that swarm, so I don't even know how many lurkers are under here, but that shuttle snuck out. It might be able to get some additional damage done. More Scourge getting wiped out, more beautiful side storms on that ramp, so Machine not getting a lot accomplished. 
and he needs to start worrying about yeah econ more economic exchanges raz has in the meantime snuck up with the dark templar to go ahead and grab the high ground expansion dropping two reavers here these are fresh reavers this time able to get some more drones it looks like machine not quite aware of this and i think raz as he defends this nexus might have just swung the match between this harass and this hold to his advantage. Let's see if he can keep this base, though, because there's more Hydralisks starting to peel in to that location. These are fully upgraded Hydralisks, keep in mind, but they are, minus the shields, well upgraded Dragoons comparatively. A nice Plague drop. That's a lot of Hydralisks. One Sidestorm drop. The Scout trying to provide some defense. No Sidestorm left, so I think this base looks like it's going to get wiped out. Some Zerglings trying to take care of this Reaver, but that Reaver going ahead and wiping out all sorts of drones while Machine was distracted at this 12 o'clock base. So now Machine down to 21. So lost a base, but effectively lost a mining base as well. The Reaver going to die inside of the shuttle. What a match. So now Raz holding, desperately holding, this inside three on Machine side of the map. He's got to reinforce kind of a cross position. It looks like, I don't know if Machine realizes this. Machine, very low on bank, has all sorts of gas, but no minerals. A Dark Templar wandering up here. There are overlords, but I don't know if there's enough defense units. So this could be the hero overlord. Machine pressing in, wiping out that assimilator. Kind of a pyrrhic victory right there. Dark Templar just making sure that additional bases haven't been taken by Machine. Machine up just a sliver of supply. This is the classic combination of Psystorm, Dark Templar, and Cannons on the front. And the Dark Templar, once again, man, Raz just constantly harassing this 11 o'clock base, making sure it just cannot get up and mining. So Machine's economy getting obliterated once again, finally realizing the Dark Templar is right there. I don't know that he's allowed to respond to it. That Another Dark Templar ro roaming free and taking out Hydralisks. And Machine just not ending up with favorable trades. He's got a very little economy to work with. And Raz is making him pay for it. One o'clock base now. Overlord's moving there, but they're finally some Hydralisks spawning. But it looks like they're misrallied. And that Dark Templar dies, but leaves just three drones at that 12 o'clock base. There's only 18 drones overall. Only 20 probes otherwise. A Dark Swarm drop right there. More size from the Observer dies. Some Hydralisks are moving into Raz's main to go ahead and get something accomplished there, but more Dark Templar are out. There is an Overlord overhead. Looks like that Zealot should be able to take out that Hydralisk without too much trouble. This is turning into a late game, in just an insane match. Some Hydralisks from the high ground picking off that Assimilator. So now, I don't even know who to call this for. Machine's down 50 supply. Raz is having to reinforce and defend this three. He's trying to get it done with Psystorm. Looks like those lurkers are going to get taken out. I, I want to favor Raz with this. He's 20 supply ahead. Has more holdings. It just feels like he's getting more favorable exchanges. Picking a little bit, actually. So another Dark Templar making out to this 12 o'clock location. Still no defenses here. A scout making its way that direction as well. Trying to flee from those Hydralisks. The Dark Templar holding up, it looks like. A little concerned of what's in that base. And unfortunately, its delay is going to cost it its life. That... Maybe you can get a drone scout or two. Looks like, yeah, able to get precise. Uh, I was going to say precisely two, but actually takes out three before dying. And an overlord taken out as well. Raz doing a good job of distracting Machine. Keeping him... Keeping him on the defensive. Keeping, forcing him to keep a low economy. And look at this. Like, Machine sitting at nearly 4,400 gas, but has no minerals. Raz, kind of the opposite. Well, he's... Got a more balanced thing, but still sitting at 20 probes. Both players licking their wounds for a moment. Some zealots and a shuttle moving out. They want to go ahead and continue to harass this 12 o'clock base. Difficult for both players because they're having to cover a lot of territory. No observer with this grouping. It looks like a zealot might actually donate its life. The zealots dropped off on the low ground. Was that all four zealots? One zealot. I'm just wondering what happened to the fourth zealot. Able to get in that drone line. Rad's continuing to try to harass this. But the hydralists look like they should be able to clean that up. Still more drones getting killed. And more of Machine's economy getting delayed and wiped out. So 5 o'clock base starting to get resaturated. 24 versus 21. The High Templar that we're defending 
I'm gonna call this the inside five because it's kind of like which way do you call it? You call it the inside three or the inside five? I'm gonna call it the inside five this time. But the shuttle moving out, it's got a was that two shuttles? So we got some high templar and a reaver grouping up. And so what Raz wants to do is continue to build his basically his goal here is continue to build his probe count while he keeps moving these shuttles out and obliterating machines' drone count. And just force him to use his larva to rebuild the drones. Force him to use his minerals to rebuild drones. And play a starvation match from here. There are some Scourge on the hunt. Are the Scourge... And here's the thing. There's nothing... And if they spotted that, there's nothing to... There's no Dragoon. There's no Corsair. So one of these shuttles very potentially going to get wiped out. Hybrisks are there to go ahead. Oh, the Scourge moving south! So they're going to move south. That's going to allow the shuttles to go ahead and wander up. There are a lot of Hydralisks there, but Psystorm dropping. It looks like it's going to catch some Defiler and Hydralisks and another grouping of Hydralisks. So not catching drones, but getting a good scoop of Machine Standing Army. One Zealot still in this shuttle. And those drones aren't mining in the meantime. And that's still allowing Raz to continue to build his probe count, theoretically, behind this. Some more Scourge produced trying to find this shuttle. Looks like it is going to find this shuttle this time. The Zealot was dropped off. But it's not going to last that much longer. This is like the beleaguered... I don't know what to call this. This is like the Zealot Trail here. Beleaguered units trying to make it their way out to that inside 5 o'clock location to the front. Potentially across enemy lines. All sorts of overlords overhead. Raz just walking up, wants to go ahead and find an additional base for himself. Machine finally able to get some mining done at that 12 o'clock. He's still behind the overall supply count. Raz is still holding at that 5. More High Templar wandering across. These are very vulnerable units, though. Very, very vulnerable units. A Reaver slow walking forward, able to catch that Lurker there. Right now, it looks like Raz is holding the advantage. This poor probe. Sent, sent to die. 9 o'clock base. Wiped out. Raz starting to move forward with a lot of High Templar. A, two Reavers, an Archon. Very slow moving army. And I'm almost curious if he's just going to walk. Just straight walk with this army. To this 1 o'clock location. A creep calling is actually being dropped. So I think Machine thinks that's what's going to happen. With enough Mutalisks. Okay, here's here's the thing. There are a lot of Mutalisks here. If they can dive in. Pick off these High Templar. While this Archon is distracted. And just watch it happen. That could be the shift in this match. The Mutalisks picking at that shuttle. The Archon switching around. One Psystorm drop. The Mutalisks able to pick off one High Templar. Unfortunately, Psystorming their own High Templar. <clears throat> cycling back around, and this is also buying time for a machine to go ahead and macro up behind this. Another whiff of a Psystorm. A lot of these Psystorms are being expended trying to deal with this. The Reavers eating a lot of damage. Another Psystorm eating another Reaver. But this is still a sizable army starting to peek through this gap. Machine diving on top of this from the left. A bunch of Psystorms, some nice Psystorms actually just in front of the Zealots. The Sunken Colony looks like it might get up. That should be able to take care of that Archon. Raz turning around, Psystorming what's left of that army. The High Templar able to sneak through, but that's all that's remaining of this army. And it doesn't... What, are they going to be able to Psystorm? A whiff of a Psystorm, kind of a desperate throw of lightning out there. And not getting a lot else accomplished. And Machine, all of a sudden, has... I think he's the one with the standing army. Able to resort his drones. I'm wondering if he's just going to drone up. Honestly, if he just re-drones behind this, I think he can win this match at this stage. A single zealot wandering forward. That's going to get picked off by those Mutalisk. Still anybody's match overall. But as things stand, Machine's going to ha go in ahead and grabbing this upper left-hand base. I think he's going to win this because he has map control. High Templar getting picked off. Forcing more Psystorm to be expended. Yeah, I think if Machine just guards the, the Zealot the zealot Trail and kind of keeps Lurkers here and keeps Hydalisks wandering between here, another drop. How did he sneak that through? Another three drone kills. Another five drone kills. 
and no, yeah, no attack force here to defend this again. And more drones getting obliterated. Once again, machine down to 17 drones. This is such a war of attrition. This is an absolute, this is like the Rocky gone to, like, who knows what round. This feels like round 24 between these two guys. And just throwing out the fists left and right. The Mutalus finally up. Shuttles wiped out. The Hypnolus is going to wander up, find some Zealots. They should be able to wipe them out. But it just it's like throwing exhausted fists at one another. Just the gloves have already come off. They're just the, their hands are ragged. All of their fingers are broken and bloody. And just kind of just smearing each other with blood to blind each other. Doing whatever they can. Mutalisks and Hydralisks peeling through. Looks like Machine is going to be able to redrone a little bit. Raz just really hurting for resources. That 5 o'clock base is now mined out. So he needs to find an additional base someplace. He's attacking his own pylon. Which is actually unpowering a gateway. That was... Actually, that'll hurt. He doesn't have the resources to spare to rebuild that. Maybe he's hoping to get that Dragoon out. So this is Raz's last mining base. So it is now one base versus three base Zerg. Machine at 21 drones is able to rebuild. And he's got a lot of Hydralisks. It looks like a Defiler and some Zerglings in midfield. So I think Machine might win this. But it is not out of the realm of possibility that Raz could find something to win this match. All the advantages in Machine's favor right this second, though. Looking for a Plague. Great side storms from Raz. Obliterating that army. And it's like, just as the, the two weary boxers, towards the late stage of this match, you just like, you get that one last huge uppercut. Sending his opponent reeling. More side storms dropping. Machine down to 48 supply, but expended all of his size from Great Plague being dropped, however. But here's the thing, and now some Guardians. Some Guardians clearing out what's left of that inside five. I don't. That scout was expended a long time ago. Rad's going to go ahead and back those units off. He's trying to grab his inside nine on top of this. Now that High Temple are going to move forward, it's going to have to expend a, yeah, a, size, a handful of size storms apiece. It's going to be a while before he's able to clean this up. That shuttle trying to wander up. Looks like that Reaver was able to stop mining here in this upper left-hand base. And yeah, just throwing throwing those uppercuts to get himself back in the match. Guardian's gone. He's distance mining the inside nine. That shuttle with two Reavers continuing to keep that probe count. Have, have there been more than 30 probes? For the last 10 minutes, I really want to see if anyone, if the 30, if the 30 probe or the 30 drone count, if has either player had 30 workers in the last 10 minutes of this match. This is insane. Low economy Star, uh, StarCraft at its best. So Raz just trying to sneak this. I think he's able to do so. Hydral is trying to group up. Raz microing this pretty well, but now the Scourge able to take out that shuttle. So both Reavers getting wiped out. More units grouping up. It looks like a Dragoon wandered up. I'm not sure what the Dragoon was trying to accomplish there. It's getting wiped out. More Guardians picking off more drones in the inside five. Still a lot of Hydralisks out. It looks like Machine is... I'm wondering if he's just... Uh, so he's trying to balance this, get some attack units, get some drones up. I'm wondering if he can just pause and re-drone now. And make that happen for himself. If Raz can keep this hidden... And hold this. This is going to be an easier to hold base than this inside five. If he can reestablish, get some cannons down, things like that. There is an arc on that. He's moving out with the rest of his attack forces. Finding an empty expansion in that upper left. Quickly wiping that out. Worker count is even. At this stage of things. Some Hydralisk Slurkers and a Defiler grouping up. There's a Plague. Lurker egg del delaying that. They're going to actually take out both Lurker eggs. The machine actually boxed in to those. And it's this base mined out. So the 12 o'clock base almost mined out, by the way. Raz is mining at that 9. So machine does need to start moving out. And find himself an addition additional expansion. And get his economy rolling again. Because Raz also going ahead and grabbing that pure 9 o'clock base. Which will give him the economic lead. Which will turn into the victory. If he can hold it. And that's kind of the key word there. If he can hold it. 
trying to get... I do want to point out that Machine's vision has been fantastic this entire match. Look at all that vision. Machine moving into that 9 o'clock. Discovers it's there. Needs to wipe this out. Some side storms being dropped. Good blanket side storms once again. The side storms of Raz have basically kept him in this match. And it looks like Raz abandoning this base. Saying go ahead and have it. And that's going to be 400 resources down the drain. Some additional probes being wiped out in that exchange. He's down to 11 probes. And the unit's just... That's got to be sad. You do all of that work. No probes. Don't come back this direction. The probes are, with that base not warped in, the probes are walking across the lurker line, and they're few in numbers. Machine's still mining at that 12. Nine probes left. Hydralis pushing forward. Raz down to 41 supply. Machine, 30 supply ahead. At minute 50 in this match, finding that upper 9 o'clock base, and this might be all she wrote. Can Raz defend this from the high ground? He does have Psy Storm. But these Lurkers are spread out enough that that might be it. So that 9 o'clock base wiped out. He's returned to trying to mine, but with only 7 probes now. And that Guardian walking right back in. And taking more probes out. I think this is it. I think Machine has finally done it. And what was it? And I tell you, these guys, they just make matches. I don't know what why these two guys in particular just... Their games end up being so epic, but they really do. Psystorm dropped on the Lurker. Raz throwing what I think is his final attack force into this 11 o'clock base. Hydralis and Lurkers coming in from behind. The Dragoons are wiped out. The Zealots trying to peel through. Scourge overhead. There are no observers, so those Lurkers cannot be killed. And that Archon's going to be wiped out. That's GG from Raz. What a game. I'm going to back up to, what is this, the 32-minute mark? Also, high dead infested. Got to say it. So at the 30... Give it a second to... Uh... So at the 32-minute mark, let's see where we land at here. Time 16. I want to see when we drop below 30, 30 workers here on both sides. So at the 35-minute mark, we drop to below 30 workers. And I don't think from 35 minutes to 50 minutes, I don't think either player goes above 30. That's 20 minutes of StarCraft on low economy in a desperate endgame situation. That is insane. A fun one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.